Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project, it's your favorite YouTuber Tony here. Today I'm going to do a scientific test and answer one very important question. Does this thing really work? I've got a dual mobile phone fun extractor over here, I would call it. Although on the box it says something completely different. It says, let me see, magic monster games dissipate heat and handle. Yeah, uh, the, the make of this thing is base us. And judging by that, I must have probably bought it from Banggood, but of course I'm gonna put the exact model in the description of the video down below so you can Google it. So, pretty much what this thing does is it sucks up the air from the phone's backside and uh, <laughs> it blows through the back, essentially cooling down the surface of the phone and then cooling the CPU, preventing the uh, you know phone from throttling, especially in longer gaming conditions. Now, modern smartphones usually do uh, well with heat, they don't throttle that much as they used to be back in the day, but there are still plenty of people out there using outdated phones, uh, which is the case uh, with the Sharp Z3 over here. I've got a quad HD screen over here and Snapdragon 652. I'm going to do this test in 1080p because in 4K this phone may explode and uh, <laughs> you know in 1080p is a little bit better but the thermal throttling kicks in almost immediately with this phone guys. So this is the perfect device to test uh, this device with. And uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play one round of Call of Duty without the fun, measure the temperatures with an application and with my special laser gun, I would say. And uh, after that, I'm going to put the fun on. It has a built-in battery, by the way, and it's supplied with a charging cable inside. Uh, so I'm really not sure what the battery life is uh, from memory is like seven or eight hours something like that definitely long enough so on the second round I'm going to be using this device do the same test measure the temperatures and this and that yada 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 so without further ado let's get it on okay guys let's get this test out of the way the first test is going to be without the fans and i'm going to use this tool to check the temperatures the soc is over here on this side uh, so we've got how many 27 degrees just over 27 degrees at the moment and something else that i have utilized as well is this application over here battery temperature which is going to give us uh, you know the temperatures from the soc guys uh, at the moment have a quick look over here 26 degrees so 26 degrees uh, the cpu temperature and 27 on the surface over here so i'm going to play call of duty i'm gonna do just one round one of the gun game or something like that the quick ones uh, because the phone is going to overheat pretty much immediately so yeah at the end of the video i'm going to let you know what the result is and let me just do some adjustments to the video there we go now you can see the screen a little bit uh, better and i'm going to you know fast forward that because you know this gameplay it's not particularly super interesting so yes yeah, see you in the uh well end of my test to see what the results are Okay guys, so the round is, uh, well, over. I didn't win as you can see over here. So it's time to check our temperatures. What do I have over here, guys? Uh, let's see. I've got 36 degrees over here. Let me see over here. Yeah, 36 degrees, guys. Let me see the other parts. Yeah, so 36 degrees. And uh, let me have a look at my... Um, you know, battery temperature software, what does it say? The SOC temperature over here is 39 degrees, guys. That's without the fun. The CPU, let's check. Okay, that's all right. So, yeah, 39 degrees, um, you know, battery temperature internal and about 36 degrees outside. So now uh, let's put this baby on and see what's the difference. Okay guys, so it's time for a round two. The fans are 
on the phone that I still haven't switched them on. Actually, you know what? There we go. Switched on now. Um, I'm going to do absolutely the same thing. 26 and a half degrees over here guys so let's start call of duty and see what the result is i'm gonna see you in a few minutes time hopefully uh you know this is going to fix the orientation okay there we go and check this out it looks very very cool this lightning over here guys but unfortunately it's not very convenient holding it especially these two edges over here are quite sharp and overall it is quite chunky but nevertheless i'm sure you can get uh, some sort of you know a different model or something like that so again let me quickly <laughs> fix my brightness settings over here guys there we go and uh yeah see you in a few minutes time Okay guys, so this round was actually a lot longer than the first round simply because the opponents were more competitive. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, um, by the way, one thing about the battery life, I said 7 to 8 hours of battery life, actually it's 2 to 2.5 hours of battery life on this thing over here. But I guess there are different models with, uh, you know, uh, better battery life. And I managed to win this time. Can you imagine, guys? That's, that's because of the fans, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> so it's time to check, actually, the temperatures, guys. I'm going to switch this thing off over here. All right. And now, let me have a look. What do we have over here? 32 degrees, guys. We've got 5 degrees difference. Basically, we're preventing the throttling to kick in. Check this out. 32 degrees for a longer session. And over here, we're going to check the internal battery temperature in a second to see what we're dealing with over here, guys. And let's see. Okay. Temperature 36 degrees, as you can see. So, the internal temperature was pretty much the same but with a longer uh you know gameplay but the external temperature was cooler and overall that's gonna make a difference in a longer um you know gameplay sessions because if i if i played that long with uh you know with the previous settings that would have been boiling hot already so yeah that's about it guys i had to bring up the light into this view because it became way too dark Overall, do I recommend using one of those fans? Well, no, <laughs> to be honest with you, no, because it adds inconvenience to the whole gaming experience. My advice would be just get a newer phone, and I'm not talking about flagship grade phones. Uh, you, you know, last year's mid-range phones are always discounted, so nowadays, you know, if you really want a proper phone, you can still get the OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 60 for like 150, 160 pounds. The Huawei, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro that I recently reviewed, you can finally, you know, find it for like 100, 150, 160. Again, these are amazing phones which you're never gonna have to use this uh fans nevertheless but yeah that's about it my little scientific ex uh, experiment guys let me know in the comment section below are you using similar device uh what are the results because again it's going to depend on the phone itself this one has a metal back which really doesn't help with the temperatures to be honest with you and this phone is you know notorious for overheating anyways so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and uh, subscribe to Walking Project if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Adios.